The first 20 minutes are complete. Harding three. Got it, left wing. Connor Harding for three. The second half is about to begin. No look low to Yo. Yo throws it down. Two-hand hammer for Yo. This is BYU Basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. BYU with a 12-point lead coming into half number two here at the Marriott Center. BYU leading the Nevada Wolfpack. This Nevada team coming in on a five-game win streak including a win at the Paradise Jam Championship in the U.S. Virgin Islands. Once upon a time, you went down to the U.S. Virgin Islands to call a BYU basketball tournament, the Paradise Jam, the very same tournament. You were without me, though, Mark. I didn't go to that one, actually. Then you didn't that go, and I didn't go. a big mistake. Well, both of us missed big it. Big mistake. How did we both miss it? I thought for sure if I didn't go, you would have gone. Uh, but you didn't go either? That's, that's, uh, it's a weird thing. That's that's a weird never thing. happened before. One of us has always been there. Hmm. So anyway, Bahamas Nevada, though. Bahamas. Nevada, yeah. Maybe. Well, yeah. I think you'll be going for sure. <laughs> That's all I care about. I know. Sorry. Here we go. Second half's underway. BYU left to right as we see it and you hear it. The white clad Klug, Cougs, the black clad Wolfpack. Screen. screen by Yo. Drive by TJ. Kick in the corner. Three pointer good for Jake Toolset. BYU's game high lead tied at 15. I'll start with that great screen. Then you had to help. TJ found an open shooter. That's another Mountain America Credit Union three-pointer for BYU. 37-22. Cougs open well here in half number two. Lindsey Drew, base left, jumper Robbie Robinson strong. The rebound collected by Nevada on the slap out. Jazz Johnson, three-point land left. They drop it in the post to Robbie Robinson. Back out to Drew, baseline jumper from the same place. They missed a moment ago. That's an air ball. Into the hands of Colby Lee. He'll ho- hoof it down floor as TJ will lob it beneath the basket to Yo. And there are his first points of the night. Yoli Childs for two. And BYU by 17 for the first time tonight. 39 to 22. 60 minutes gone here at half number. 60 seconds gone here at half number two. He might have a really good half. You can just kind of see it in his eyes. Jazz to the bump. Pull up at the free throw line. Back iron. Rebound TJ Haas. Cougs have scored four in a row. Cross court left to Jake behind the back to Yo. Yo dives low, takes a foul as he goes up with it. He'll get two free throws. So Yo forcing the issue early here at half number two as BYU looks to get to 40 before the Wolfpack can sniff 30. Yoli Childs at the free throw line. Cougars 39. The Wolfpack 22 with Yo at the line 4-2. Childs tonight is 0 for 2 from the free throw stripe. And 1 for 3. BYU Basketball brought to you by Siegfried and Jensen. Siegfried and Jensen have been helping Utah families for over 25 years. And BYU's game high lead now 19, 41-22. This thing had gotten down to a single-digit game late in the first half at 29-20. And in the first, and the Nevada front court, offensive foul on Jazz Johnson. And timeout, or timeout's called with... Uh, one minute, 19 seconds gone here in the second half. We'll take yeah. a break. I think they're just going to call the timeout. No foul. So no B- foul, yep. just straight timeout. So on the timeout call by Steve Alford, BYU up 41-22. to We'll take a break. Cougars lead it. Big on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Let's get you back to the Mo Betta's courtside seats and the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. BYU off to a 7-0 start to half number two, leading at 41-22. to BYU has scored seven points in the first 116 of the second half. They scored, all right, Nevada scored, uh, has scored eight points in the last lot, nine minutes of gameplay overall. BYU by 19 right now. Jazz Johnson just four in this game. Averaging 18.3. Jalen Harris on the left wing. Nevada's front court away from us to our left. Jazz on the bump. A bounce pass Mid post right to Reyes. Right wing Drew. They cycle it Johnson to Harris on the left base. He turned it over. Yeah, Yoli got a piece of it. Knocked it away. Colby comes away to Haas. Down floor to Yo. Yo gets it deep. Knocked out of his hands. Grabs it back on the floor. Scramble for it. Yo comes away with it. Tries to go back up with it. And he's fouled. Before out of all that, drew a foul. He's trying to go up, but I don't know that he ever got up. Will they give him shots? No, out of bounds. It'll be out of bounds for BYU. I think Yo thought he was going to shoot. Yo saying I'm shooting, and the official says, well, no, you're not, actually. So they'll say baseline. Uh, two quick fouls against Nevada here in the second half. Checking out Reyes, checking in Himes. It'll be on the end line. 
TJ Haas to send in. 21 second shot clock, 18 13 game clock. BYU lead 19. Yo off the inbound, stripped, got it back, tries to go up with it, banks and scores! He was not going to be denied in that possession. BYU by 21 now, 43 to 22. It's a 9 0 Cougar spurt to start the second half, and Yo has been a big part of it with six. Scoreless in the first half, six already in the second half. Coming off the curl, Jazz Johnson, a patented pull and fire from three, missed it, and then Colby Lee bumps into Himes on the end line. They'll say no foul, and off of Himes, BYU basketball. So UNR is in a world of hurt right now, down 43-22. to Steve Alford, should the Cougars win, will fall to 5-5 five and five all time against BYU, including his New Mexico days. UNR might need a DNR with the way it's going. <laughs> BYU's dominated the state of Nevada last week. TJ, airmailed a pass to Yoli on the right base. So that's turnover for BYU. That Cougars up 21. Yoli was maybe going to the rim on a lob off the screen, but he was not. Cougars D up on the other end, jumping into the paint and scooping at the rim no good. Harris, but he's fouled. He'll get two free throws. Foul on Barcelo. AB receives his first foul of the night. First of the second half. For BYU, the Wolf Pack at two here in half number two. Jalen Harris, who had made 19 in a row coming in two tonight, is one for four on this night. And now two for five. Makes the first of two. He's got ten points, so double figure scoring in seven consecutive games now for Jalen Harris. The junior out of Dallas and a transfer from La Tech. Second free throw rattles in. So two for two for him for the first time tonight. 11 points for Harris. BYU's led by Toulson's 12 and Haas 11. Those are your three players in double figures. One for the Wolf Pack and two for the Cougs. BYU's up 19, 43, 24. TJ straight away between the circles. Off the curl comes Toulson right side. Top of the key, Jake on the bounce. One hand bounce pass, mid post right to Yo. Yo faces, posts up, jump hooks off a double and off the window. Good. Yoli Childs after a scoreless first half, eight after halftime. BYU by 21, once again, 45-24. Coach Burgess talked to Yoli about facing up just like that. You can see the defense better. Jazz Johnson for three, spins out. Yoli on the rebound. Seventh rebound to go with eight points. TJ on the bump, crossover on Drew. Drive tried to hand off to Lee, knocked out of bounds by the Wolfpack. It'll stay BYU basketball. 16-39 to play here at the Marriott Center. BYU looking for back-to-back wins to get to eight and four on the year. As the Lee was there, maybe just a little bounce pass. Easier for Lee to catch and easier to get through that defense. Baseline send in for TJ. To Childs, base right. Pirouettes to face on Himes. And a jump hook off the window from the base. No offensive rebound by Colby. Lee blocked, gets the rebound, and then is knocked out of bounds. They're going to say last touch by Colby, so no body check on the Wolfpack there. He's easily forced out. But no call. It'll be Nevada basketball. This is terrible. No call. I mean, Kovic just got body. Check. You thought it was he's getting checked up into the boards there, Craig. But yeah, there's a reason he went out of bounds, Vern. He just got nailed. So three and a half gone here in the second half in Nevada basketball. Turnover situation. Six for the Wolfpack. Four for BYU. Harris straight away. Around Childs. A drive and kick. A step back triple taken and missed by Zane Meeks, the rebound of the Cougs. Nevada shooting under 30% as TJ takes to the rim, tried to go behind the back to Child. The pass is knocked away, taken away, and UNR on the turnover. Transition triple Jazz Johnson, too strong, rebound Jake Toulson, and back and forth we go. One Jake runs 12. it down the wing left side. Jake kicking the corner, Barcelo will drive past Johnson, hand off to Dalton. Dalton, little teardrop at the rim, he scores it. We'll call that a UCCU smart decision, the dish to Nixon. And BYU's up 23, 47-24. to 24, A new game-high lead for BYU. Nixon and Childs both scoreless. They've almost got all the points in the second half. Harris right to the rim. First field goal for UNR here in half number two. They had been 0 for 7 from the field. The answer to make it 21, 47-26. to 26. Harris with 13 on the night. Toulson straight away Yo. Yo dribbles it to the arc left. Gives to Haas. Quick pull, fire, and miss from three. Front rim rebound to Harris. BYU 47, Nevada 26. The under 16-minute media timeout is coming on the next whistle. Harris will drive it, float it, miss it in the paint. Rebound to Himes. He's fouled. Loose ball foul on BYU. And three on Yo. It'll be Nevada basketball next off that rebound fight. 15-12 to play here in Provo. Cougars 47, Nevada 26. On the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Back to Mark Durant and the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. 
for more BYU basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. BYU's last basket made came right at the rim, courtesy of Dalton Nixon. The assist goes to Alex Barcella. We'll call that our UCCU smart decision of the game. Here's a smart decision. UCCU's 4321 cashback credit card, giving you up to 4% cash back on the spending you do the most. UCCU, love where you bank. BYU playing Nevada, the fourth of five. Mountain West Conference teams that uh, BYU will face this year. The fifth will be Utah State on the weekend. And looking at how the Mountain West Conference was picked by the coaches or picked by the media in the preseason, BYU is playing the teams picked first, second, fourth, fifth, and seventh in a pretty good basketball league. So four of the top five picks playing against BYU this year. That's in order. Utah State, San Diego State, Nevada, and Boise State. UNLB a little farther down at 7. BYU leading it by 21, 47 to 26. And three-point shooting, Mark, is the story of this night as uh, UNR has gone 1 for 9. I beg your pardon, 1 for 12 in the game. And BYU has gone 9 for 23. And this is a team that was near BYU in three-point proficiency. Jazz Johnson uh, shooting almost 60% the last five games. He's 0 for 4. So that's a big part of their game, clearly, that's not going right for them. And you see it, they're being down by 21. And the second half field numbers, BYU 5 for 8 from the field, and UNR just 1 for 9. BYU's lead 21. The game high lead's been 23 just moments ago. As we come back in, Nevada basketball on the baseline. Yoli Childs on the bench with three personal fouls after a great start to half number two. He's eight points in the second half after nothing in the first 20 minutes. BYU's been great with the ball, but they're getting a little sloppy now with this lead. Now remember, it's still a game. you got to take care of the basketball. The baseline send in right corner to Harris. He'll pull up short corner right, give to Meeks, back to Harris on the right arc. Jalen Harris takes Celius, drives on him, kicks it out to Zuzwa, and that three-pointer is missed. Into the hands of Harris. Banks, no good. Rebound. Toulson, he's stripped. Ball loose. Jake got it back. Nevada 1 for 10 from the field here in the second half. Dalton Nixon right to the rim, up and in. Got down floor, got good position. Squeezes it up off the window. Dalton Nixon with now four. All his points coming after halftime. Good patience. Pump fake. Go up strong. BYU's up 49 to 26. Behind the back goes Lindsey. Oh, he slips and falls in the paint. And uh, that's travel. Unfortunate, there was probably some moisture on the floor, but it did take his feet out from under him, and he traveled as a result. And now they're going to mop it up. As with 14.33 to go, turnover number seven will give the ball to BYU. (laughs) Coach Pope, ball was loose. Referee didn't want to walk to it. Coach Pope ran out there to help him. (laughs) Oh, Mark. All right, 49-26, BYU by 23, 14-28 to go here in Provo. Celius dribble handoff to Barcelo on the bump to give to Nixon. Nixon, a little underhand scoop to Jake Toulson. Celius hands off Harding. Harding will step back to the top of the key, terminate to Dalton. Handoff, Toulson, no look. Harding, right wing, right corner to A.B. Pulls and fires from three, back irons it, and the rebound slapped out by Nixon to Harding. Toulson faking the three, will drive into the paint. Harding will take that triple and make it. Connor Harding! BYU doubling up Nevada now, 52-26. to 26. That's another Mountain America Credit Union three-pointer for BYU. And Connor Harding, three threes on Saturday, two threes here tonight. Each team struggling to get those, off, those rebounds off those long threes. Jalen Harris missing a teardrop. Things getting away from Nevada. The rebound, Nixon down floor, A.B. Transition three, Celius, no! And Nevada the rebound with 13.29 to go. BYU 52 and Nevada 26. 13.20 to play here at the Marriott Center. Jalen Harris top of the key. We'll see Colby Lee check in as Harris misses a long two into the hands of Jake Toulson. Toulson 1v3 will pull it out to the right wing. Toulson still on the dribble. We'll take it outside the perimeter. Now restart on the bounce. Terminator's dribble. Give to Dalton Nixon. Left wing. Straight away to A.B. Barcelo drives. Scoop and score! Alex Barcelo to the 10 for 2. And the Cougar lead now to 28 for the first time tonight. As UNR has cooled off the tune of 1 for 13 from the field here in half number 2. UNR has kind of cashed it in a little bit here. No energy. Playing with their heads down. Harris angle left. 
So a couple of runaways Saturday and so far here tonight. 20-4 to in the second half. The BYU scoring. Connor Harding held Jalen Harris on his drive with 12.36 to play. In non-shooting situation. The uh, state of Nevada motto is battle born. <laughs> well, they, uh, the Nevada teams have been battle tested against BYU on Saturday and here tonight. Anybody else we can play from Nevada? Because that, I mean, we're on a hot streak on, on the tables. Cougars are doing okay in the Mountain West Conference uh, this year. Not, you know, they, they're, they've lost a couple, about to win a couple. They'll have one more to go against Utah State. Three-pointer Lindsey Drew left side ends the drought for UNR. So Drew has his second three and has both threes for Nevada tonight. They're now two for 14 from deep. The lead for BYU is down to 25, 54-29. BYU front court left side, Harding. They cycle it. Yo, who's back in the game, to Haas. Now straight away, Colby Lee. They're weaving it to Selyus on the left wing. Comes to meet up top with Childs. The give to Connor on the wing right side. Harding will terminate straight away. And the Cougars playing everything outside the perimeter right now. Down to a five-second shot clock. Yo on the bump. Holds it high, gives to Haas with three and with two. Desperation triple from TJ and almost went. Offensive rebound, Kobe Lee with a reset for BYU. Back to Harding. 11.45 to play. The under 12-minute media timeout is forthcoming. BYU leads it by 25. A square up by Yo, a jumper on the base and a miss and a foul. It'll be free throws for BYU after this. 11.42 to go here at the Marriott Center. Yoli shoots two and we come back. 54-29. BYU running away from Nevada on the new skin. BYU Sports Network. You're listening to BYU Basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Here's Jason Shepard with a scoreboard update. Second half action in Logan, Utah State leading St. Catherine 74-45. Seven and a half minutes to go from Logan. Back over to the Marriott Center and the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. Thanks, Shep. Tonight's BYU basketball game is brought to you by America First, Utah's number one credit union. Join us, and you'll be part of a winning financial team. Go to AmericaFirst.com for details, and go Cougars. BYU 54, Nevada 28, our score. This Nevada team coming in two tonight, shooting 41% from the arc on the year, and it made 48% or better from the arc in its last three games. Tonight... 2 of 14 for 14 percent. BYU at 10 for 27. 37 percent. That's now a a new record extended for BYU. Five straight games with double digit threes. The previous record was three. Got to four against UNLV and now five against UNR as Yoli Childs makes the first of two free throws as we come back in here at the Marriott Center. BYU by 26 mark. 55-29. And not all from the three in this half though. BYU is 14 to 6 in the paint. First half is the free throw is missed and 10 to 2 here in the second half in the paint for BYU. Cooks out 55 29. Nevada basketball 11 30 to play here at the Marriott Center. Nevada away from us to our left. The Wolf Pack in black. BYU in white. The three pointer left wing is too strong. Rebounded by Himes and a reset and a whistle. And the foul against Trevin Nell, who just checked in. The three was missed by Kane Milling, dropping the Wolf Pack to 2 of 15 from deep. But the offensive rebound, which was a problem for UNR in the first half. Gives them an extended possession. Baseline send-in forthcoming for Lindsey Drew. Into Himes. Himes will hand straight away to Zuzwa. Zuzwa, Drew, three-pointer wide left. Rebound, Colby Lee. By Colby, far, that's rebound yeah, number six. Good rebounding all around, but by far the best offensive rebounding game for BYU. They got nine. Colby's one off his career high in rebounds for a game. BYU runs it outside the arc. Now Yoli starts at the free-throw line. Dives low on Himes. A no-look hook, and oh, it does, does not, not go. go? It was a no-look hook by Yoli Childs, and he gets fouled on it. Two more free throws for Childs. Team foul number four against Nevada. Team foul is even four apiece. <laughs> Somehow does not go. Pretty athletic move from Yoli. Just being very aggressive. Not not fading away, going right to the rim, getting to the free throw line as a result. Struggling there, though. And free throw missed. Yoli going with high and tight on the hairstyle tonight. I wish I could go high. All I got is tight. <laughs> you and me both, brother. <laughs> I'm low and yeah. tight. All right, two free throws missed for Yo. He's had two over for twos today as Zuzwa Euros into the paint. Missed it strong at the rim. The rebound, Colby Lee. That's career high in rebounds for Lee. Lobs down Florida. Trevin Nell. Nell will stop his dribble and give the Yo mid-post left. 
Yo holding it at his right hip. They're swatting at it. Spins away from the pressure. Double C's on the baseline. Yoli's got to give it up. Uh, ten squeezes through. Put it on the floor, and they call three seconds. BYU basketball brought to you by Mo Betta's, because we're coming to you from the Mo Betta's courtside seats. Mo Betta's, where the slow-cooked Kahlua pork takes over 12 hours to prepare. Text the word OCEAN to 88588. For a free mini Kalua pig plate at Mo Betta's Hawaiian Style Food. Again, text the word OCEAN to 88588 for some free Mo Betta's food. BYU 55 and Nevada 29, 1034 to play here in Provo. Nevada basketball away from us to our left. Kane Milling, left wing, right wing, Drew, right corner, three missed by Jazz, got his own rebound. Chased it on the base, out to Drew. Drew lost it. He turned it over on a spin dribble. Nell. Childs Back down floor. Haas caught up in the air. Hands off to Kobe Lee, who drops it over the rim. Up and in for Kobe Lee. He had Yo or Kobe. Yo would have been a little bit more dramatic with the finish, but Kobe will take it. Four points for Kobe. Career high tying seven rebounds for Lee. 57 29. BYU's lead is 28, equaling the Cougars' game high cushion. KJ Himes receives the post up. Turnaround jumper fades away in air mail. And rebound to Yoli Childs. No rebound, just took, caught the air ball. Trevin Nell, left wing. Yo runs into a double on the base and turned it over. They've added the other way. Milling to Drew. Drew up and in at the rim. Lindsey Drew with a right-hand scoop. He's got 10 and 9.40 to play. The lead 26, 57 to 31. Nevada's kind of messing with Yoli a little bit in that they don't double until he puts it on the floor, and then they really attack, and he's having a hard time getting his arms through all there, swatting and knocking it away, not getting any whistles, but that's kind of what's happened with Yo as he puts it on the floor. He gets ambushed and hasn't made great decisions out of that. He's 3 for 11 from the field and 3 for 8 from the stripe. So nearing a double-double, but a uh, less than efficient night for Yo. He's 9 points, 8 rebounds, couple of assists in 22 minutes of play. BYU leads it by 26. The game-high lead's been 28. Colby Lee will have a seat. Connor Harding on the floor with Trevin Nell. Yoli Childs, T.J. Haas, and Jake Toulson. That's your group. T.J. See some mild pressure from Jazz Johnson, who began uh, guarding T.J. as a Portland pilot back in the day. Toulson, Haas, return to Jake, top of the key, and gives back to T.J. in turn. Down to a 12-second shot clock. Haas on the bump to Yo at the left elbow to Haas for three, top of the key, in and out. Rebound to Kane Milling. Milling front court right, Jazz Johnson. Jazz on the arc right side. He'll jump it from there. And in and out for him. Rebound to Yoli Childs. Nevada's 2 for 18 from deep. It's a good three-point team. Brutal tonight, though. As Johnson tried to draw the foul on Toulson. Contact, no call. Wide open three right corner is no good for Trevin Nell. And Nevada on the rebound. BYU 10 for 29 from deep. Harris wing left. Behind the back on Toulson. To the free throw line. To the right block. And a pull out. And a send out to Milling. Milling left wing to Zuzwa. Ziz, Nisrei Zuzwa tried to bounce a pass to Reyes and hit the foot of Yoli Childs with 8.37 to play. You know what's Yoli, nice? Yoli will check out for Barcelo, Mark. Greg, is you have an ugly game where it just don't look like you're playing very well and you're up 26. That's nice. I mean, BYU is really clamped down defensively. Like, I guess what you, like you said, a good shooting team. Reyes, arc left, on the bump to Jazz. Harris stepping back. Cut off inside the right elbow. Goes back door to Zuzwa and deflected by BYU. Thought it was right off of Zuzwa. And the Rock in the vicinity there thought the same thing. But they'll give the ball to UNR with 8.25 to go. BYU's one for its last seven from deep. Milling off the inbound. Right to the rim. Caught a clear lane down the lane. And scores to make it 57-33. Post up to Dalton Nixon, right block for BYU. A feint to the middle. A jump hook off the base, and it's good. Off the window for Dalton Nixon, doing all his scoring after halftime. He's got six, and BYU's lead 26, 59 to 33. Get the D leaning to the middle. Spin back, baseline, right-hand jump hook off the glass. Nice move. Really controlled-looking shot for Dalton. A spin by Harris, and out to Milling. Milling runs into Trevin Nell. Nell's call for the block, moving the feet. Timeout on the floor. 7.56 to play here in Provo. BYU by 26, 59 to 33 on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. This is BYU Basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. 
At Edge, we sell pest control, knock doors, and love it. With your commitment and our managers, you will sell more and have an amazing experience. Join us. Check us out on social media at Edge D2D or visit us online, edgeD2D.com. So here's what Nevada had been doing before tonight. Averaging 80 points per game. They've got 33 with under, with under eight minutes to go. They were shooting 46% from the field. Tonight, they're shooting 26. They were shooting 41% from the arc. Tonight, they're shooting 11%. They were shooting 71% at the free throw line. Tonight, they're shooting 43%. Their last two games, they scored 98 and 100 points, respectively. And they have had a tough time convincing us that they've been the team that the numbers say they are coming into tonight, but they are. It's a good team having a bad night, Mark, and credit BYU for some of that. Well, I think they did a really nice scout on Jazz Johnson, who's 0 for 6 from 3. He's a really good three-point shooter and leading scorer. And Harris, if you can kind of devise a game plan to take those two guys out of what they want to do, that's half the battle, and BYU's done a great job on those two particularly. All right, we're back in. Kane Milling. Sends in to Jalen Harris. We have under eight minutes to play. BYU by 26. Milling for three. No. Two for 19 of the Wolf Pack from deep tonight. BYU the rebound and TJ Haas front court. One hand whip to Jake Tools and stripe extended right side. Lost the handle. Got it back near the BYU team area. Somewhat off balance. Gives to Nixon. Knocked away from Nixon. Steal by Harris. Harris takes it right to the rim and missed it at the rim. The tip no good and Yoli Childs will come away with it. There's no harm done for BYU. Cougars have some open numbers as Barcelo will drive it and kick it. Toulson touch pass Nixon for three. No. Strong on it. Jazz Johnson the rebound. Pulls up. Top of the key. Shoots and scores. Oh, Four point play chance for UNR's Jazz Johnson finally makes his first three of the night, and it comes with a foul, chance for the four-point opportunity. Well, there's a reason he made the three uh, when he got fouled, because he didn't get fouled. Or Nixon just hand up. Tough shot still from Jazz. 59-36. Nevada draws to within 23. And Jazz can make it 22. He wears jersey number 22. Jazz Johnson with his first three of the night. Give him a free throw. Eight points on the night. And the BYU lead down to 22. The Cougar lead had been as large as 28. Twice here in the second half. Yoli walks it right wing. The handoff to Haas. Screen by Yo. Left wing it goes to Nixon. Toulson for three. Too heavy. Rebound right to Yo at the top of the key. Yoli will drive it low. Backdoor it to Barcelo. And he scores. Oh, oh. with a foul. And he wow. followed through. And he punched Jazz Johnson in the face inadvertently. Oh I think God. Alex has to go check with Jazz on that one. Say, my bad. Alex Barcelo was celebrating the make, and he clocked Jazz Johnson right in the face. Now, wow. cre- credit, to, credit to Jazz. He didn't react poorly. Oh, my goodness. I mean, he just kind of stayed like, man, that's... Yeah, that really is a credit to Jazz, because yeah, yeah. he really could start something. And, like, Alex should go to him. He certainly yeah. was looking back at the shot to see if it went. Was just going to rah rah and hit him right... Right under his chin. Yeah, right in the throat. In the neck, the throat. So Barcelo does complete the three-point play as Jalen Harris will drive it the rest of the way and miss it at the rim, but he's fouled. He'll get two free throws. It'll be the foul against Yoli Childs. That'll be four on Yo. 62-37 to 37 on the three-point play for BYU, by the way. Just to restate that, Alex Barcelo got to the rim, laid it up, scored it, and got fouled. And in his fist pump, the follow-through caught Johnson under the chin in the throat area. And again, credit to Jazz. Didn't react uh, physically or anything and... and uh, He's okay, obviously. Just kind of a weird circle. Inadvertent in every way, but still kind of unfortunate. I'm still surprised the refs didn't take a look at that just to make sure it was inadvertent because it was pretty blatant. Free throw by Harris. One and two are both good. So he's overcome his free throw woes from earlier in the night. He's got 14 points. BYU's lead down to 23. 62-39. 640 to play. TJ Haas. 11 points for BYU on four of nine shooting. They cycle at Nixon to Barcelo left corner. A.B. enters it to Yo. Yo sees a double. Passes right wing out of it to Toulson. Toulson to the left elbow. He'll backdoor it to T.J. Haas with a five-second shot clock. T.J. goes behind the back on Harris. A behind-the-back pass to Yo. Yo to the rim up and in. And the assist to T.J. Haas. Some crafty ball work by T.J. and a good finish by Yo. And BYU's lead is 25-64-39. Nice right, second half from Yoli's. Double-double now. Harris. Oh. Jumps into the paint, floats it up, and Yoli swats it off the window. Came from nowhere. Haas, Toulson, Barcelo, three good! 
Three-pointer, left corner, A, B for three. And the Cougars by 28. Game high lead tied, 67-39. Tremendous ball movement and a great finish by Barcelo. 5.40 to play. And BYU pulling away from the Wolf Pack. As TJ Haas draws the offensive foul. It'll be a turnover. The foul against Zuzwa. And BYU basketball with 5.36 remaining. So Yoli's double-doubles now to 11 and 12. And five Cougs in double figures. Barcelo 13, Toulson 12, Childs 11, Haas 11, Harding 10. Cougar basketball as they look to win back-to-back games. Beat the Nevada teams this week, Saturday and Tuesday at least, and get to 8-4 and four on the year. TJ into a three left side, short on it. Rebound in the corner, and Cougars can't track it down. It'll stay Nevada basketball off that rebound. Could have got that. Both Dalton and Jacob thought the other was going to go diving out of bounds. Neither one did. BYU basketball brought to you by Sierra West Jewelers. Diamonds Direct, lowest prices, and three stores located across from the malls in Orem, Sandy, and Murray. Sierra West, we price match. Nevada in front court, left side. Harris will bounce it up top to Himes. He'll whistle it through the hands of Robbie Robinson down low. Turnover Wolfpack. Turnover number 10 for UNR to six uh, to 8 for BYU. And the Cougar lead 28, 67-39. BYU plays for its first 30-point lead of the night on this possession. Five minutes even to play. Jazz catching up with TJ Haas. Barcelo left, Nixon high, Toulson right. Jake holds it high and goes bump to TJ. TJ will lob it to Yo. Yo one bounce low on Himes, jumps it off the window, doesn't get it to go. Much more aggressive Yoli Childs, a much more squared up Yoli Childs here in the second half. The foul to Himes will send Yo to the line, and BYU up 28, can make it 30 from the stripe. 67 39, 449 to play here at the Marriott Center. BYU just needs to pretend that they're playing Nevada State Saturday, and they <laughs> should be fine. That's going to be a whole different story, I think, against Utah State. Very good. So Yoli looking to square things up from the free throw line. He's now four for nine. This to get to 50% on the night. Second for Yo. Nope. Four for ten for Childs at the free throw line. He will not be happy about that. Just kind of a tough shooting night all around for Yoli. 68-39. The BYU lead is a game-high 29. Ron, Robbie Robinson, a bounce pass to Himes, and Himes missed the dunk. That's he was all alone nights. for the two-hand hammer, and it goes off the back rim. Toulson, Nixon will drive it, miss it, tip by Yo, missed, rebound to UNR. <laughs> one of those nights, man. No, no, no one was within 15 feet of him. That was as, as wide open as a dunk attempt will ever be in a two-hand reach back behind the head and miss it off the back rim dunk. Missed jumper by Harris, left wing, and yeah, they're just trying to get to the finish line on this one. 68-39, BYU running away with 4.04 to play. Toulson straight away. Little crossover. Goes to Nixon left. Low to Yo. Yo, single team by Himes. No double comes. Yo takes to the middle. Jump hook with the right hand. Good. They didn't double and they paid the price with Yoli Child scoring points 13 and 14. Those are a team high 14 for Yo. BYU by 31. 70 to 39. BYU's game high lead now 31. First time at 30 plus tonight. All in the second half for Yo. So it was a 33 point win over UNLV on the weekend. Right as Robbie Robinson misses right at the rim and the Cougars on the carom. They take it front court. Left side. Transition triple for Toulson. Good. He rattles it in. Five threes for JT. So Jake Toulson's five triples push it to a 73-39 lead. 34 points the cushion. Timeout we're taking at 3.24 to go here in Provo on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. You're listening to BYU Basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Here's Jason Shepard with a scoreboard update. Not a surprise, but it is a final. Utah State defeats St. Catherine 94-49. That game played in Logan, BYU, Utah State Saturday from Vivint Smart Home Arena. Back over to the Marriott Center alongside Mark Durant. Here's the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. Shep, thanks. BYU fans, whether you want to sit courtside or score a bird's eye view, StubHub is the best place to grab your Cougar ticket. StubHub, the official ticketing partner of the BYU Cougars. StubHub, be there. 11 nothing run for BYU. 34-point lead for BYU. 73-39. Career high in rebounds for Dalton Nixon. 10 tonight. His first double-figure rebounding game. Career high rebounds for Colby Lee at 7. 
and a BYU career high tying five threes for Jake Toulson on this night. Kane Milling will drive the base on Harding, stop on the left block, and hand high to Zane Meeks. Meeks, a dribble give there, a handoff give to Drew. They cycle it to Milling in the left corner. Air ball on the three, out of bounds off of Nevada, BYU basketball. Mm. <laughs> I've seen this many bricks in this building since they built it, Greg. I mean, three for 23 from UNR, and we mentioned it again. That is rare, unusual. They're uh, one of the better shoot, three-point shooting teams in the country, and they are throwing up bricks. And keep in mind, uh, Jazz Johnson came into today second in threes made on the season by anyone in college basketball, and he's had a difficult night at one for eight from deep. Blaze Neal is in, and Blaze will pull it out to the right wing with 2.40 to go and 10-second shot clock for BYU. Blaze on the bump, left wing Harding for three. Missed it long, rebound to Nevada. 73-39. BYU's now 12 for 35 from three. 35 threes taken. They haven't been great, but they've made a lot more than Nevada. 12 threes made to three for UNR. Zuzwa just inside the three-point line right side. We'll pull a long two from there, and it'll rattle in and out. Colby Lee on the rebound for BYU. 2-10 to go. Nell into a three right side. No. Rebound UNR. Nizrae Zuzwa on the right wing. Goes up high to Zane Meeks to Kane Milling. Zane to Kane. Back door to Lindsey Drew. Drops it off to John Carlos Reyes in his first points tonight. Come on a right hand hammer. So the dunk makes it 73 41. Nevada scored 100 points in its last game, and they just get to 40 with 100 seconds to go in this wow. game. Celius, wing right to Blaze. Blaze kneeled on the arc right side. Trevin Nell inside the three-point line. Looking for help. Has it in Celius. Give to Harding for three. Nope. Long rebound slapped into BYU's backcourt where Harding tracks it down. 120 to go. BYU 73 and Nevada 41. And what do they call here? I think shot clock issue of uh, Nevada ever got possession. They set it back to 30 when Connor retrieved it. That was the correct call. They'll keep it. Okay, so BYU basketball. They'll inbounds right in front of us with Zach Selyus to do the honors. BYU by 32. And now the bench being emptied for Coach Steve Alford. He'll follow the 5-5 five and five all time against BYU. And the Cougars will get the second half of this home and home that began last year in the season opener in Reno. Trevin Nell to Blaze Neal. Stripe extended left. Mid post left to Colby Lee. Colby Lee will post up on Himes. Little step through. And off the window and rim for two for Colby Lee. Nicely done. Took a while, but he found his way to the basket. Zachary Williams has checked in late in the game for UNR. Cougars by 34, 45 seconds to play. Taylor Mon, Evan Troy, Cameron Pearson about to come in for BYU. And the Cougars foul in the UNR front court. Gabe Bansuelo is also checked in for Nevada. So they've gone down as deep as the bench that they could possibly go. So Harding will check out, Lee will check out, and Celius will check out as those other three aforementioned Cougars check in. BYU will go to 8-4, and four, improved to 4-1 and one here at the Marriott Center. And Coach Pope will win his 85th game as a Division I head coach. Free throw good for Nizre Zuzwa, as Zuzwa is at the line for two. Second by Zuzwa, rattles out. And Blaze Neal saves in on the end line. BYU 75 and Nevada 42. Blaze and over the shoulder. Pass to Taylor Mon. Mon will drive the base. And turn it over under the basket to the underside of the backboard. It'll be Nevada basketball with a 30.2 game clock and a full shot clock. So the game clock and the shot clock are all but equal. We'll see what Nevada chooses to do down the down the floor as BYU wins it probably by 30-plus here tonight. UNLV just dribbled it out at this point. They did. Very unusual. Yeah, late in the game. Zuzwa drives, misses long at the rim. The rebound to Evan Troy. Now BYU can bounce it out. So isn't that something? BYU with a 33-point win over the Southern Nevada team and now a 33-point win over the Northern Nevada team. Three days apart. Final score, 75-42. BYU over Nevada. 
Post game recap next here on the new skin BYU Sports Network.